Yeah. This conference will now be recorded. I mean, uh, if it's easy for us, we can exchange the weather. Yeah. <laughs> Correct. Okay. Yeah. Uh, any questions? Jamal and Nicholas. Uh, questions? Not yet. Uh, it's uh, is working on it, but they still okay. not. <clears throat> I found the uh, no no question because uh, uh, I didn't work yesterday, but I'm sure tomorrow I will work because uh, I have only two pending points: the repetitive manufacturing and uh, the like uh, mass processing. You know, this is what I want okay. to attack tomorrow. So I hope okay. I can be, at least I can finish one of them tomorrow. Okay. Okay. Good. Good. Okay. Otherwise, no class. Uh, no, no, no question. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for helping thank yesterday, you. Mr. Watson, yeah. for the yeah. two, two issue. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks a lot. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Okay. So we'll start our regular class. Okay, normal. So in previous class, we are discussing about the Kanban. We saw the yeah. different, what is how this Kanban will work. Mm -hmm. You are able to see my screen, correct? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. So how the Kanban is? working means we have the principle like supply source demand source there is a kanban means boxes will be there you will empty out and full okay mm -hmm. whenever you empty out that information will go to the supply source okay and the material they will send it back so when they send it back you will make it as a full okay now mm -hmm. and we supply you will get from three areas one is in-house production if it is a semi-finished material, mm -hmm. you, uh, it will trigger planned order or production order. If yeah. it is external procured material, so purchase requisition will generate. And yeah. if it is a stock transfer, stock transfer means from your warehouse to your production area. Okay. Mm -hmm. If that is the case, then mm -hmm. um, that is a uh, storage location to storage location transfer. These are the three areas you can replenish your material. This is Kanban principle now to practice this principle okay what we can do we will see what is the need okay so in discrete management this can be used any either in discrete or PPPA or repetitive any any process you can use it okay mm -hmm. for example in our discrete uh, process we use the material raw material okay maybe a tire i think we used correct yeah honda tire honda okay honda underscore tire for so example i will take this we, we use the raw material you say yeah generally these replenishments is the raw materials only generally because you are assembling the car okay so mm. these are the raw materials or we can create one material also for example I bolt i can create Okay, mm -hmm. let me create bolt. No, I understand okay. when you when the supplier comes to the main production mm -hmm. area and he's trying yeah. to assemble the things, definitely he Correct. needs the material. You know? Correct. Okay. Mm -hmm. So example, I took the existing material Honda tire. Okay. Right. Right. So this is the one master data. The next is production supply area. Supply area. Mm -hmm. Okay. Supply area is nothing but where this material is coming from. Coming from means it is getting supply area. In-house supply area. Yeah, yes, correct. In-house supply area. In supply okay. source. Supply source. Yeah, sup supply source. Okay. Mm -hmm. So supply source is nothing but this one. So where you are getting this material. Okay. So that we need to create. It is nothing but a assigning one storage location. That's all. I will show you this supply area. Supply area to create this supply area transaction code is PK05. Now in the picture, which one is a supply yeah. area means where the person is working? Yeah, correct. This is a supply area. Uh, okay. This is supply a source. supply source, but the supply, yeah, supply area source. is a demand source, right? No, it is 
supply area means where this material is coming from i see supply source okay okay mm -hmm. so now we will create what is a supply area pk05 is a transaction it is very simple once you enter the transaction code it is asking the plant mm -hmm. you can put our plan double seven double seven click ok okay here click on new entries plant supply area any name you can give okay supply area example sa01 okay any name you can give supply area for car or you can say uh, car tire raw materials okay so here plant and any supply area name and you will enter the storage location where from you are getting this material you have a different storage locations okay example i am taking the this is a storage location triple zero one okay triple zero one is my storage location so uh, that means can you go that, to the picture one more time please yeah i am going back that means in this example my mm -hmm. demand source location you can say triple zero eight another story location is there and supply source means we are getting the material from this location is triple zero one okay mm. this is storage location example i am telling demand source nothing but a, where you are uh, assembling the units so that location is triple zero eight and supply source means where the where you are supplying from that is example triple zero one so this okay. uh, both location zero zero eight and zero zero one is called uh, storage location yes right? storage location yes correct i see okay so for this supply area hmm. we have created a we have created a supply area for this location yes mm -hmm. supply sa01 for this storage location because we are getting the material from this storage location okay can you i just want to understand the, from the picture when you have okay. means the supply source is a, is the supply comes from outside Correct. that's the supply source yeah and that's the storage, also storage, storage, storage location. Location. yeah this is also a storage location, right? Correct, correct. And demand source is also a storage location. Storage location. So this is demand storage location is 008 and this one yeah. is 001. Correct. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. So is it clear how to create supply area? Supply mm -hmm. area is only we are assigning the storage location. Mm -hmm. Okay issue storage location you can say okay next is i'm sorry mr Iwasu. can you come yeah, back you. can you go back to the 008 and 001 the yeah, excel sheet uh, yeah. i'm sorry demand source demand source it is uh, the photo where uh, uh, supply source i understand it is the three kind of mm. source and demand source this one where you where you are manufacturing does mean is that right correct where you are manufacturing correct but okay. here temporarily for inventory purpose you are saying this this triple zero eight is near to your assembling area it is not a warehouse just a place where you are just keeping the temporary these boxes that oh, is okay, okay. Zero, zero, 008 yeah yeah the zero, yeah. zero I got it i got it i got it. yeah got but it. you say when you say storage location hmm. and this one is also a storage location hmm. that's uh, means uh, we have to understand the supply source and and demand source 
both are a storage location, right? No, 008, it is like a temporary storage location, you know? Yeah, yeah. correct. It is a when it comes to transit from the, the supply source to mm. the uh, you know, line of production, so mm. this is like a temporary. This one, we, sometimes it is empty when they stop to manufacture, I believe. Is that right? Yeah, correct. Temporary storage location, okay. Yes, yes. Yeah. It is not okay. like warehouse and everything. Okay, okay. Yeah. Yes. Thank, okay. thank you, Mr. Watu. I yeah. got it. Okay. Okay. Yeah. The next. Now we created the supply area. The next master data is Kanban control cycle. This is the main master data. I see. Kanban control cycle. Third one. The so transaction I code for this one is. Yeah. Can K PK01. PK. So in Kanban master data hmm. is uh, three master data. One is material. Correct. Correct. Second one is supply area. Hmm. Supply area is covered the two location 008, 001. Correct. And then Kanban control cycle. Hmm. Correct. Okay. 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 Hmm. So and one more thing is mm -hmm. this specific master data uh, is for the example scenario which scenario means insert okay this is for any scenario but scenario is like like in the third scenario here in the diagram you have a three kinds of supply source Okay, the last scenario warehouse to you are moving material from warehouse to this production area. Okay, this is a scenario we are building now with this master data. Okay, now so the last you also, I can show it to you. Yeah, the last one is the last one is a warehouse to production, yeah. and where Correct. the and where the truck is says what is that area? Truck. Where is the trailer is up there? There are three sources of uh, supply the material, right? Correct truck. Yeah, the one is uh, the man is working, which is in-house mm. supply, Correct. right? Mm. Which is in in-house supply. Mm. And then uh, second one was what? It is external procured. Oh, second truck one is external, okay. Yeah. external supply okay that's the way to understand so the first one is in house second one is uh, external and third Correct. one is the warehouse product okay i got it Correct. okay okay is, so, is it mandatory uh, for all the material when we need to manufacture a car or whatever all yeah. the material should pass by the storage location 008 or not necessary yeah all the materials should be required to be in triple zero eight because this is oh. where my production is happening mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah okay but it comes okay. through the through the three sources which is showing there is three sources yeah. correct right okay you can see this scenario is warehouse <laughs> to production area okay yeah. warehouse is nothing but a supply source okay this is a scenario in this scenario we are we uh, we need the material supply area and the kanban cycle okay what is a kanban cycle we will see now okay. i'm going back now i will uh, this is a path actually production under this production you can see separate folder kanban mm -hmm. here you see kanban cycle if we expand you can see this is a pk control cycle okay PKMC. You can, yeah why pk0 is there PKMC. okay 
actually the transaction code is pkmc not pk this one okay i need to correct this is pkmc kanban control is pkmc i see yeah yeah okay so in so other I'm words uh, kanban the... has uh, not uh, too many uh, too many transaction codes i think it's look like about yeah. four or four or five correct okay now this is a control cycle where we will create the data okay transaction code pkmc open this transaction code okay and then right side and left side right side is a blank screen and left side you have a selection okay yeah here enter plant and then enter supply area which are we created just now sa01 001 sa01 okay and then click execute button uh, supply okay. area supply area you just create right correct just created this one supply area using the pk05 we created uh SA01. You, you, cre you created from PK05 supply. Correct. I Correct. See. Can you? I did not pay attention. I think maybe. Can you go back to PK05, <laughs> please? I'm sorry. Okay. PK05. Want to open? Okay. Okay. Plant. Yeah. And then go inside. This is the data. Plant supply area name and we enter the storage location okay supply area okay okay mm, good okay so now so here in pkmc transaction code enter plant and enter supply area and click on execute button mm. okay where you will put the zero zero eight Zero 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 eight. Here, mm, I will tell you now. Okay. okay. Yeah. In this screen, enter plant, enter supply area. Then here, yeah. it is this uh, transaction is in display mode. Okay. You click this into change mode. Here, this is the button. Yeah. Click on change mode. When you click on this change mode, okay. In the right side, these two buttons will come actually. This is create a button and this is copy button. Copy button. Okay. So click on create a button. So we are freshly creating first time. Mm -hmm. You click on create button. So this pop-up message will come. Mm -hmm. Okay. In this pop-up message, you can see material for which material you are creating this control cycle. Uh, I am creating this control cycle for Honda tire. Mm -hmm. Okay, Honda tire and plant is this one. This is a supply area and click OK. Continue button. Okay. So click continue button here. Oh, sorry. The message is supply area has not been assigned a responsible person. M M MRP controller. controller. Yeah. yeah. So I am going to on second PK05. PK05 plant. And this is our and here it is a saying this is not assigned but here it is a not a mandatory field but there it is asking so mm -hmm. select the mrp controller responsible person means nothing but a mrp controller okay right. select this person and save it save it okay come back come back now i am once again going back to control cycle okay now click on OK button. 
Oh, I need to cancel and come back. Maybe once again, I'm clicking on create button. Okay. Oh, still same error. Same error. We, we create all the tire in the past. Maybe uh, yeah. we created in 3001. Correct, the correct, time. correct. I understood. Now I think we will use another material. Maybe from the process industry. Process industry, yeah. what is the barley we used? Correct? You can use yeah. uh, barley. Like the material, so many. Yeah. Like, you, uh, can you, you, you can use Rose Royce tire. Rose Royce tire. Or our, 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 our tire. Or you can use a tractor tire. Okay. Which one? Tractor tire. Tractor tire. Okay. Tractor tire zero zero seven. Yeah, right there, right zero zero seven. Tire. Okay. Right this. Okay. So I am clicking OK button. Continue. Yeah. We can put this tire in a small car. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So once you enter material supply area in this pop-up screen, you will get this is the screen okay uh -huh. here we will enter the required details you can see control cycle zero material mm -hmm. plant your supply area here you will enter number of can bonds number of can bonds means nothing but here in your um, assembling area how many boxes you need you need one box or three boxes each box is called the can bond. so how many you need that we need to enter here number of can bonds. I see. For example, three. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Or you can say five boxes. That is up to you. Okay. Mm -hmm. And next, con container quantity. That means each box contains how many tires? That quantity we need to enter. Three. Maybe okay. each box, maybe 10 tires you have. Each box. How many tires? Okay. okay. Number of boxes is five. Each box is ten quantity. So when you put this uh, uh, numbers, the system hmm. will take it, or do we have any configuration yeah. or backside? No, no, nothing. No configuration. System will take. If you put a hundred, also no problem. It will take. Mm -hmm. Okay. Is it clear till now? Yeah. Okay. Now very important thing is this, the bottom here you can see replenishment mm -hmm. strategy mm -hmm. okay so you want to get the material from the supply source i told you the three source. three ways you will get in-house in external and mm -hmm. stock transfer means from warehouse so here you need to select how you are getting that radio button you need to select here okay this is important okay select for example i told you the stock transfer so we are uh, getting the material from warehouse to my production assembling area okay, okay. one minute uh, one second if the yeah. stock is maintained then hmm. it will uh, go through if the stock is not maintained then it will give you an error right correct it will and, give uh, an error. and how about the Extra um, external procurement. External hmm. procurement means if you have a purchase order or uh, uh, your third party vendor, if it's created, then you go through, otherwise, it will give you a error, right? Correct. Correct. And in house production means uh, this is the same thing that if you have maintained the inventory, uh, also this will give you a straight, otherwise, it give error too. Yeah. So these three things is depending on backside. Yeah, correct. Correct. Okay. We will see that uh, one example also. Okay. Mm -hmm. I will show you that. Mm -hmm. Now, in this example, business scenario example, stock transfer, you are selected. You need to select that radio button and then enter strategy. This is a configuration okay so stock transfer you can do in a different ways these are the different ways standard stock transfer with reservation mm -hmm. okay that means 
if you select this one system will create a reservation i see and in the reservation it will say you need to stock do the stock posting from this to that soil location if you wear those to that soil location i see okay and if you select the second one working with the direct transfer posting that means directly it will do the in the back end directly it will transfer it you don't no reservation nothing is required just it will post it mm -hmm. okay this is also with reservation and mrp you need to create means reservation will get created but you need to run the mrp that reservation will become as a stock round request these are the different ways how you want to replenish the material even though it is a stock transfer only mm -hmm. now okay. one more question uh, sure. when we create the discrete or repetitive or classes mm -hmm. what mm -hmm. stage we use the kanban uh, after the plan order or after the release the order or after the during before the goods movement or uh, what stage that we can use this kanban yeah okay so this is related to your goods movements correct mm. related to goods movements means you will do this one here so before uh, goods, goods issue movement. it is related to goods issue okay, okay. So we can do before the goods issue, right? Correct. I see. Okay. Now this control cycle. Okay. So here, just I'm selecting the direct working with the direct transfer. That means directly. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Mr. Watch. So just to confirm, this one will happen as soon as you confirm. Uh, everything will be will be happen is a reservation or a transfer posting or hmm. whatever is that right no because here i will tell no. you i will tell you when it will happen i will show you that yeah I, okay because next said, transaction MRP code is there yeah, yeah. Okay, okay in the next transaction code these will happen yeah we'll see that. okay i will show you this is only the setup when you want yeah. to trigger this replenishment how you want to trigger you want to trigger yeah. direct postings or reservation or how you want okay the setup yeah. we are doing that cell we are not doing any transactions here okay yeah okay okay now select example i am selecting the 002 two, two. okay once you select that one and press enter once you press enter remaining two radio buttons will disappear i see yeah okay and the data required for this setup will display here in this box okay i'm just pressing enter now you can see the two radio buttons disappear now okay so the data required for this working with the direct posting it is appear here yeah okay so okay here you put the zero 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 eight yeah correct yeah but here will go zero zero eight but not the zero zero one now we'll be transfer posting from the zero 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 one to zero 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 three So I am entering did, did you, the 008. Did you create the 008 or not? Is it created? Storage location already it is there. We may extend that material. Mm -hmm. And what Store about location. the and what about the other source PSA? This is not required. Already we are a supply area. I this see. is already defined. Don't require PSA. I see. Okay. So here you can enter storage location 0008. So that means material is coming from triple zero, coming to triple zero eight. Okay. Okay. So I am saving this. This is the details we need. What we enter here is number of kanbans. What is the each kanban quantity? And third thing is which strategy 
you are using for replenish okay and store the location now is when it, it says yeah it's clear when it says on the a little up it says address because oh. maybe the company wants address is this address is the location where the production is uh, performed or the address where the kanban material is coming from where is that address it's a little up right here uh, right oh, this here. one yeah. delivery address means uh, delivery address means uh, inbound supply the three sources yeah correct if it is an inbound supply where you want to deliver this material in that address okay So now I am saving this data. Okay. Storage location yeah. is this one. And does not exist. Exist. Storage location is. Oh, okay. I can put. Uh, it is okay, existed 2001. Yeah. Yeah. Can I put uh, 100 or 200? Anything. You can, you can... It, it work or whatever. You know. Yeah. But yeah. not not 88. Yeah. Okay. You can use uh, anything you want to. Hundred I am putting. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Material in store location not maintained. Okay. So our material yeah. is not maintained. It is saying. So we will yeah, maintain the extended. storage location. Correct yeah, yeah. 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 Material extension is mm. Yes. C. Is the transaction code. So enter the material and plant. Press enter and enter 100 very simple and save it okay and this storage location is what is the transaction is uh, what was the transaction to extend yeah it, I meant to, yeah extend mmsc storage location <coughs> extension <coughs> MMSC. Okay, 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 got it. Thank you. But, but there still uh, means uh, demand source and a supply source is two mm -hmm. different locations. Yeah. Okay. Now okay. we save this. Yeah, we saved the data now. Okay. okay. Uh, you can save the data. Yeah. it is saying not maintained so i need to go back once again okay. yes you can start yeah. over really want to exit this okay and uh, once again i'm going so you need to keep this is in a change mode then mm -hmm. click on create mm -hmm. select your material and uh, supply area mm -hmm. enter and here enter number of kanbans five mm -hmm. quantity each kanban is having the 10 uh, tires you select the storage location replenishment strategy and enter triple zero two here direct transfer press center then we will appear storage location so we enter the storage location hunter mm -hmm. still some area oh i think i need to go back completely from this dial section i'm just coming out I came out from this transaction code. Once again, go change mode. Click on create button. Select tractor. Try zero zero here. Yeah. yeah. Enter. Enter five. Here ten. Stock transfer. Enter here triple zero two and enter here triple zero a hundred press enter. Now it is okay. Okay, and save this. Is it clear? Any question? Can you go down, please? It says yes. uh, save. Yeah. yeah, this is save now. Control cycle save. one. Control cycle one newly created changes control cycle one what is the control cycle one control means, cycle means whatever we created now here 
that I is see. called the control cycle you can see control cycle i see okay okay what are this data is called control cycle mm -hmm. one control cycle is created okay okay and it's a number is 15 you can see here control cycle number 15 mm -hmm. okay yeah so, so this is a master data you need actually yeah now the questions that i have in my mind mm. the configuration whatever you did that's fine i i understand that in mm. production uh, uh, production people are working and mm. in the morning they start the work they need a three or four boxes they are working and they create mm. the kanban after mm. three hours they are working different box then they create another kanban then in the evening time, five o'clock or six o'clock, they are working in different tasks. They have five boxes. Then they create the campaign. Is that the way it works? Generally, every time they won't change this one. I'm sorry? They, every every day, uh -huh. they won't change this actually. Okay, every three hours or five hours, your, whatever your example is not correct. If that is the example, that uh -huh. means every time they want three boxes at a time at my location means they will keep this number of canvas three okay or they want to keep 10 boxes at a time with me that means they will keep the 10 here but in real time they won't change that frequently i see number of boxes whatever you require mm -hmm. okay okay so the, where no, the the place you are working in the industry, are hmm. you using the Kanban there? Uh, what? Uh, not at present, baby. Uh, that is, I worked for before five years actually. So is the yeah. when you work five years, is the Kanban work like one time, as, as you give the example there? Yeah, correct. I see. I see. I just want to know the yeah. what is the yeah yeah. The realization yeah. when you work in okay. uh, uh, real scenario. Okay, no problem. Okay. Okay. Some places, I'm... some places are important can bend. Some places don't use the can. Bend. Yeah, correct. Maybe. Most I would correct. say about uh, eighty percent uh, don't use the can bend. About sixty mm -hmm. seventy five percent. Don't use yeah. It's a big headache. Why they use it this? Sorry, I said. Why? I said uh, seventy-five percent. Uh, they don't use it, but uh, maybe mm. they use about thirty percent someplace. Yeah, maybe that is industry. They uh, that based on their industry, they will use it. Yeah. SAP will not say you use it. It won't yes, force. Yeah. Yes. Sir. Yeah. We have okay. to understand the application they use it use it that yeah. they, they don't use it we don't work it <laughs> correct <laughs> yes. correct okay now this is the master data setup you need uh -huh. okay right. now once the setup is completed how this is used in your production okay how exactly we will use this kanbans what yeah. is the process they will use it we will see now okay in production they will use one transaction code that is called the pk 13 n demand source demand means you are yet assembling area demand source here the person who is standing here what he will do we will see now okay so whatever the activity he will do that we will yeah. use the transaction pk 13 n mm -hmm. okay this is only the transaction we will use mm -hmm. pk 13 n okay. i will put on top okay demand source view in this transaction code mm -hmm. open this it will ask you the plant and you can select the supply area whatever the supply area you created you can select mm -hmm. and press enter okay plant and supply area press enter mm -hmm. 
once you press enter you can see this screen will come left side and right side okay if you want to expand means zoom in you click on this zoom in button mm -hmm. it will show you yeah okay uh -huh. so here you can see this material is you created for the supply area and each container is having the 10 each and how many containers you have one two three four five so in the master data you maintain five kanbans so that five kanbans will appear in this screen okay mm -hmm. so first these having the different colors as per this status what is a color you can know what is the color of this box is example you can see here is a legend if you click this legend button this is the colors the first color is weight means it is we have just created it is weight second color is empty full red means empty this yellow means weight and process and if it is become full container is full box means it is a green that means if this box is green that means you have a full of material that box is having the material if you get this symbol red color with white inside then there is an error in that box error means error in the processing of that box but my point is when you the supply area send this uh, five boxes and mm. each box has 10 tires <laughs> why the why it's empty or uh, something like that. definitely it's a fault yeah he has not sent it this we are did the setup now only okay this is the boxes it is showing in the system we have not done any goods movements or nothing I correct see. Just it is a weight means just empty boxes. We can say just created. Whenever you create a new master data, it will show you with this color. I see. Okay. Now, what exactly the user will do is he will select the box and either he will do a full or he will do as empty. empty. Okay. Either he will do a empty or full okay so what exactly will happen if you click on the empty what exactly will happen when you click on the full sure. that we will see you can see here can burn to empty if you make this empty trigger replenishment trigger replenishment means when you make this empty so system will trigger either the if it is a stock transfer it will trigger stock transfer request if it is external procurement it will trigger a purchase request. if it is in-house procured then it will trigger a planned order in the back end it will create hmm. as per yeah, but your... is that the same person the same person who clicked for to make it full or to make it empty it is two different sides i believe is a side the person who make it empty is the line the person who was working in the production line and the mm. person who make it full, he is from the other side who, who fill it up mm. the box. Is that right no. or no? No. no? Actually, okay. uh, no. Yeah. Actually, the same person will empty out. Okay. We yeah. are in demand source. He will empty out first. Okay. Oh. So okay. then. Okay. Got it. Then supply person come to know, okay, this is got empty. So what yes. he will do is he will make it ready the material and he will send back to again to this uh, assembling area again this okay. same person will check okay i got the full box so he will check and he will again make it is a full ah okay got it okay got it got it got it okay okay, mm -hmm. okay. now what initially we need to do is first you select this box and if you double click on this box information will come information means like control cycle is 15 whatever we created that number is generated that number and you can see what is the supply area container and actual quantity and these details you can see okay working with direct transfer posting this is the strategy 
okay yeah. here actually when you make mtr full it will get updated here some data okay what is that mm -hmm. we will see now initially you make this as empty because we just created this okay make this as empty click on empty mm -hmm. button so in the back end it will execute as per the strategy it will create a str or what are the required replenishment it will trying to create now you can see in our in our case will be oh, there is an error in our case will be yeah. like a stock posting or stock posting stock That's transfer right? correct correct yeah. stock transfer so, now yeah, transfer, here, yeah transfer posting yeah. 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 yeah yeah as we selected direct transfer okay yeah. it is saying deficient deficient of storage location unrestricted you don't have inventory yeah correct in which storage location in 100 storage location there is no stock it is saying oh mm. okay so let me check how much stock we have so there is no stock anywhere We'll build some stock for this. We can build this. So I am Amigo. Yeah. You have to make a lot of stock because there is a reserved quantity. Good receipt. Okay. Not order other. Okay. Five sixty one. Some I am putting thousand. Material is tractor tire yeah. quantity storage location. I am bringing the storage plant is 777 and storage location is 1000. Okay, and you can do post. why it is coming okay i'm going back let me go Okay, I'm posting it. It is expecting vendor. I think uh, we can create the vendor. Oh, actually, we don't require vendor. That's 54 vendor we yeah. have. Some vendor number I put and it is posted actually. Okay. Oh, it is creating delivery. Not direct posting. Okay. Where is it? You can see in the bottom. Delivery yeah, created. Okay. This is actually the process. We need to process this delivery. Why this delivery created? I don't know. Something with uh, the storage location configuration. Yeah, because maybe because they have reservation, so there is a reservation to quantity, you know? Maybe. Yeah. I don't hmm. know. So I'm just uh, processing the delivery also. Select it. And you can enter. What is the other detail? Put away quantity 500 and do the PCI. 
oh this is h2 minus yeah it's very difficult this one and then you need yeah. sorry okay yeah, 100 you need 100 you need yeah, yeah. Okay, this correct, time correct. the the material is already in the uh, oh. in the bomb and supplies and all these things yeah the storage location is issue actually let me Try. I think it's a zero 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 one could be. That is okay. We need another storage location also. Yeah. Plant. That's why when I when you work on a new application. Oh, this is WM storage location. New job. We have to create the new. It is available for sales. Cross talking received. This is WM. This is WM1 handling unit and this is EWM and available for sales. Yes. Maybe it's better to create your own storage location. It takes two minutes, assign it to the plan. Uh, otherwise, yeah. it will be very, no, very no, difficult. No. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Correct. Okay. We will create a storage location. Sorry about it, Mr. Wasu. You know. Yeah, yeah, correct. We I, I didn't pay attention that the hundred it is like a you need hundred yeah oh, structure define logistics general plan define location no employees Plant seven 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 location is triple zero two sample. You don't need the assignment after mm -hmm. this. Let's see. One minute. Save it. Let me see. I am uh, what it is it does not exist okay This is division.
Yeah. I am just creating it and assigning this. Just I created two store location. I am saving it. Now I am just checking where the store locations came or not. The store location correct. Yes. Okay, so I am assigned this materials to this one. Now we will post this stock. Okay, mm, me go. So I am putting 561 others and plant is 77, 77, and story location I am using 3002. Okay, quantity 500. And material is tractor tire and post. Okay. Okay. Material is posted. Clear? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now I am going back to now control cycle. Can work. Okay. Now you got this is as error. Okay. When you empty this got error. So how to correct this error is on this button. You right click it. So one small menu is appeared. Okay. Here you can select Kanban correction. Okay. Click on this Kanban correction. One more screen will appear. Here you can see error is there. Okay. You can select this and click on details. Click on this detail button. Okay. Here you got this message like when you are making wait to empty, this error has come. Okay. Now how you can correct this error means you can Kanban correction or status replenishment quantity or batch correction or reverse you can reverse it back also okay so any one of this you can use it here i am just clicking Kanban correction mm -hmm. okay that means it is repeat status change again we bring the stock now so we are saying you repeat this okay click on this kanban correction do you want to repeat the failed status change yes oh setup we need to change we put this thousand now we need to change the story location three to two uh, nicholas you need to leave or you can spend for another five minutes uh, yeah, yeah, it is okay. No problem. Okay, we can wait. No problem. Okay, okay. Then Thanks. in uh, control cycle, we maintain it as 100 actually. Now I'm changing that control cycle. Go again, PKMC. Okay, enter plant and supply area, execute, and click on change button here. In this Kanban earlier, we put the 100 as story location. Now I am putting 3002. Okay, story location for 3002. Save it. Now I am once again going back to demand source. Select your plant and supply area, press enter. 
this box is coming so how to correct is right click on this box select on kanban correction select this and go to the details and click on kanban correction once again repeat the process do you want to repeat yes now you can see status become as empty there is no errors if we come back and refresh this refresh now you can see this is become empty okay empty means what happened inside is you just again double click this one now here you can see one material document got posted yeah transfer posting wow great man <laughs> transfer posting has happened transfer posting yes great great okay and now yeah. if you want to see this document now you can see this what happened in this document so internally it is posted you are not done anything just as a end user you you will do only empty and full only mb02 yeah but we don't have the mb02 only me go only oh yeah 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 okay here select display oh yeah 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 got it and enter your document number execute now wow. you can see what happened very for man okay so from 3002 storage location it is posted yeah. destination to 3001 mm -hmm. yeah. okay from 3002 storage location means it is your warehouse it is posted where you posted you kept the 500 stock now it is come to your storage location destination yeah mr was okay. so maybe it's supposed to happen the opposite way mr was who know opposite way means does mean it should go from 0001 to 0002 ah uh, okay okay i uh, okay okay i think i told you something wrong actually maybe. Oh, okay okay uh, just to let uh, the, the, the schema as you show us yeah, 0001 yeah. it is the warehouse itself yeah and correct. we said 0002 this, it is uh, like uh, exactly is that right correct this uh, this is actually supply source is 0002 and yeah. this is demand sources from 0000 0001 oh, okay yeah. okay 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 now now it's okay yeah perfect yeah Okay, uh, yeah. Yeah, Mr. Boss, when you do it one more time, because mm. uh, you go one step, then other, then um, uh, stores. Uh, so the the missing uh, some steps is okay. not properly, you know, uh, come in mind. So what I do is, when you mm. come tomorrow and when you work one more time, that mm. store location everything will be there. So mm. Then we have to understand the concept one more time. It's only three transaction code. It's not too big. Correct. Okay. So I will complete this one now. It is empty, and the backend stock transfer means that uh, warehouse person uh, send the material. Means he has posted. Means he send. Now you are at the assembly area. You, uh, that material has come, and you need to make this as a full. Mm -hmm. Okay. Too full. unchanged status unchanged can only be changed after oh, okay some setting is there 745 maybe after 10 minutes maybe that stock transfer it is taking around 10 or 15 minutes okay maybe somewhere they put the this timing so it can happen after 745 only so that means he is sending that material okay yeah so so this once again we will repeat again tomorrow okay yes yes okay okay if, it, if the storage location and uh, both sides is properly maintained you yeah. we'll just go here and here and here that we have to understand yeah. the cycle okay one one more thing is you can see the stock is posted or not 
uh-huh. MMSC you can see actually we put this stock in triple zero two as 500 uh-huh. okay as we empty out to 10 quantity each box is 10 quantity it is moved to triple zero one 10 quantity okay yeah these postings will happen in the back end that is advantage of kanban and in the front end the end user will make only mtr full that's all he won't do anything okay yeah. Yeah. okay so i will stop the class here now tomorrow we will once again see Okay. Thanks a lot, Mr. Watson. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.